So out here in the shrub step habitat, I am surrounded by these larkspurs, this purple flower, which is Delphinium natalianum, uh, upland larkspur, or Nuttles larkspur, named after Thomas Nuttall, an early botanist. This flower is in the Ranunculaceae family. This is the buttercup family, and it can be recognized by the beautiful purple flowers, which are unique, but also by palmate leaves, which are kind of hand-shaped with a uh, Lots of little leaflets coming out in a circle around a central point. And then the flower is so amazing. Let's look closely at the flower. So first of all, the showy part of this flower, the purple part, are not petals at all. These are made by modified leaves called sepals. And there are five sepals in this plant. And the uppermost one has a really remarkable structure, which is a long burr, hence the name of the flower, larkspur. And it's a modified... Uh, leaf again forming a tube which is, holds the nectar in the end of that tube and then the petals themselves are white and they form a tight cluster in the mouth of the flower when pollinators come they want to stick their face into those white petals and from there they can stick their tongue up into this long up curved spur and get the nectar reward at the end of it it's complicated to get your face in these white petals and at first the pollinator doesn't quite know how to do it but when it gets that nectar reward wow it wants to come back again because that is a great high quality reward that um, promotes uh, loyalty to this flower and even more the spur has two capsules in it each with nectar the pollinator comes figures out how to get its tongue in there sticks it in gets the nectar from one capsule pulls its tongue out drinks from the other capsule and gets its fill and the process of pulling your tongue out and putting it two different capsules means that the pollinator stays at the flower longer and has more time to spread pollen. But this plant has another remarkable strategy, which is the flowers are going up the stalk, the flowers at the bottom are female, the flowers at the top are male. So when a pollinator comes from another flower, uh, another plant and visits this plant, it starts at the bottom where the nectar reward is richest and those flowers are female. So it's bringing pollen from another plant, bringing them here, landing on the female flowers, dusting them with pollen from another plant, and then working its way up the stem. And the last flowers it visits are the topmost flowers, which are male. And it takes the pollen from this plant and flies off to the bottom of another plant and starts there and works its way up. And the pollinator will do that all day long, starting at the bottom at the female flowers, working its way up to the male flowers and then flying off with the pollen from this plant to the next plant. A remarkable strategy. And this plant promotes that also by the amount of nectar reward in the flowers. So the flowers at the bottom are really rich in nectar. It encourages the pollinator to stay at this plant. But as it works its way at the stem, there's less and less nectar for each flower. And by the time it gets to the top, there's hardly any nectar and it's like, eh, I'm done with this plant and flies off to the next plant. So uh, this plant does a great job of um, promoting its pollinator strategy. Really remarkable plant. When you get out in these uh, patches of larkspur and spend enough time here, you often see uh, hummingbirds coming in and bumblebees flying around. So it's worth slowing down and stopping to enjoy these flowers and see who comes and visits them. And while you're there, take a moment to look into the structure of these flowers and marvel at how unique they are.